Hello, 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 and welcome back. Today, we are cleaning the entire house and preparing the house for house guests. We are having people come to stay this weekend, so today's video is slightly different in that I'm preparing the house for house guests, which means I will need to be tackling spaces I don't usually tackle on a weekly basis. For example, rooms you haven't even seen yet, such as the utility room or the downstairs cloakroom, these will need to be tackled today so our guests have somewhere to put their shoes and coats <laughs> without falling under an avalanche when they open the door. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video and let's get started in the living room. So as you can see, our living room is a mess. The boys have had really bad chest infections and really bad coughs and colds. So it, there's been a lot of nursing from me and a lot less tidying and cleaning. So today you will notice the house is a lot messier than usual. The bathroom is a tip, the living room's a tip, the kitchen is a tip. Um, from last night and the school run this morning. So yeah, let's get into it. I've just been putting everything back where it needs to go basically. I'm folding up the blankets and I'm gonna get hoovering and cleaning. I then move on to tackle the clutter at the other end of the living room. Once I've decluttered, I get out my Zaflora disinfectant spray and start wiping down some surfaces. Sofa covers have recently been washed. I am, however, trying to get one makeup stain that Max got on there out. And give the sofa a nice fresh Febreze with my new Ruby Jasmine scent. And of course, pull out my mauled wine and berries room freshener, which is just my favorite thing at the moment. And that is the living room complete. Now, to be honest, it just had things everywhere. It wasn't dirty. It was just somewhat untidy. So it made cleaning the living room today a lot easier and a lot faster. It just looked worse than it was. Next I decided to tackle the downstairs toilet. Now if you've got four and two year old boys you will know that this gets awfully messy. Um, <laughs> so yeah I needed a few cleaning products. I got out my bathroom cleaner, my pink shine spray and my bleach and a rubber glove. And I started actually not with the toilet. I started with the windowsill. I took everything down and gave it a nice clean before moving on to the skirting boards um, and just around the bathroom any dirty dusty places, the radiator, and then lastly, I finished off with the sink and the toilet. Thank you. 
I also got out a fresh, clean, dry microfiber cloth and gave the mirror a little wipe down as well. And that is the downstairs loo, clean and tidy. So next I thought oh, I'd better get in the utility room and just give it a little clean and tidy. I know they're not supposed to be immaculate, but um, ours is pretty messy. So we've got our tumble dryer, our washing machine, our microwave, our tools, our cleaning products, all in our utility room, as well as our washing basket, the buggy. Um, it's a little bit like a dumping ground, but also is very useful because we obviously microwave our food in here, we get our cleaning products out of here, we do our washing in here, we do our drying in here. We've also got some crap on the left, but um, yeah, I just thought I'd give it a little clear up. So I just folded some clothes that were drying that can't really go in the tumble dryer or they get ruined away, put the cleaning products back in nicely, refilled my washing tablets and dishwasher tablets, refilled the softener bottle, and yeah, just made it look a tiny bit neater. And it does look a bit better for it, even if I do say so myself. <laughs> now, I don't even think you're ready for this room. This is our cloakroom. So it's very useful in that it's obviously the understairs cupboard. We keep all of our coats here. Um, there's four of us, so there's a lot of coats. We keep all our shoes here, but as you can see, the boys just throw them in. And we were also keeping our bags for life and our shopping bags here but it just became too messy because we've got too many bags um, and you can't get in there. So I decided today that I'm gonna move the bags from here and rehome them so that there's just shoes in a shoe rack and our coats. Um, so I basically removed all the bags, all the rubbish, there was lots of random stuff, took all the shoes off and put them all back on again neatly. Now look at the bags. <laughs> And lo and behold, we can see the floor again and we can actually go in and pick up shoes. So yeah, I was chuffed with this transformation and our guests can put their shoes in and their coat, hang their coat up without falling over everything. Next, I thought it was only right that I just gave the hall a quick hoover and a wipe down, move the buggy, put that away. That also lives in the utility room, as I said before. Um, it's much nicer when the buggy's not just sitting there. And the front door mat gets very bitty and obviously we bring our shoes in from outside so it just needed a quick wipe down, mop, hoover. Um, so yeah, this is what I did next.
next big job was tackling the dining room and the kitchen, the kitchen diner. So as you can see, it's got all of the stuff from breakfast on the side. I mean, the bin's open. Doesn't usually look like this, but like I said, the kids have been ill. So last night I didn't do a tidy up, a quick 10 minute speed clean as I like to do. And in the morning I didn't tidy up after breakfast. So I had a bit more of a front loaded tidy up on my hands um, today for the kitchen diner. So once I did a quick tidy up and I unpacked and packed the dishwasher, I swapped the tea towels over and then I went to my next favourite thing, which is cleaning the cooker. Then after using the kitchen cleaner, I went for my pink fabulous shine spray that I just love and you guys know just makes my kitchen and bathroom sparkling um, and gave that a wipe down with a microfiber cloth. And oh my goodness, just look at that shine. Have you ever seen anyone's hob look that clean and shiny, honestly? <laughs> and then I got my kitchen cleaner again and just cleaned everything that's on the work surface as well as the work surface also. Moving then onto the toaster, the kettle. I actually had to get the dustpan and brush out for the crumbs. <laughs> I then moved on to the sink, which as you'll know if you've seen my other videos, is a bugger to clean because of the material and the colour. I actually use four different products to clean my sink and try and keep it clean and shiny and looking lovely. Um, so I start just by basically giving it a scrub with hot water. I empty out the plugs, give the plugs a clean with the kitchen cleaner. I also give the sink a clean with the kitchen cleaner. I then get out my pink miracle stuff, miracle pink paste thingy, um, which is great for removing stains. I just give the paste a good scrub with a brush on the sink just to get rid of any marks basically that don't come off with any of the sprays. And then I use really hot water to wipe it all away and wash it down. And that does usually do the trick. And then I do get out my Zaflora um, disinfectant spray because I prefer the smell of it and I like to get rid of all of the paste. And lastly, but definitely by no means least, I get out the concentrate, the Zaflora concentrate, and I put obviously a nice little capful in the sink each side um, with the plug in and get some boiling water and pour that in and all oh, the smell it leaves in the kitchen is just incredible I've got my winter scents out and I just love this bit of cleaning and that is the sink nice and clean and tidy Next I like to give the cupboards a little wipe down because they always get grabby <laughs> I 
give our extractor hood fan thingy a little shine. As you know already, if you watch my videos, I only use baby oil for this. This is the only thing that leaves it super, super shiny. As you can see, it's already shiny. <laughs> super shiny and leaves no wipe marks at all. Moving on to the other side of the kitchen, which looks like a tip. Um, we accumulate so much stuff on this side of the work surface. Anytime I just need to put something down, I usually put it here. So I'm just decluttering it and basically removing anything that shouldn't technically live here um, and just leaving it with the stuff that should. And finally, lastly, downstairs, I tackle the dining room side. I just move all of the stuff again that's not meant to be there. The boys were doing some nice coloring this morning. So just putting all of that back in the art trolley. And then I fold down the table, move all the chairs and the bench and give underneath a good hoover because <laughs> the crumbs and food that accumulate daily, daily from the boys eating here is insane. In fact, I had to sweep first because I didn't want that much food to go in the hoover. <laughs> And finally, I gave the kitchen side a hoover and I also cleaned the bin with a disinfectant because it was so grubby and grim and disgusting. So yeah, I gave that a clean as well. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the downstairs complete. Clean, tidy, fresh smelling, ready for guests, smells like Christmas, and I'm just so chuffed that I managed to declutter the cloakroom as well, which I was putting off for weeks and weeks and weeks. And then I come out of the kitchen to this. This is the mountain of clothes that need putting away. <laughs> Anyways, walking past that mountain of cloves, I'm tackling upstairs now. The boys' bedroom is absolutely fine. It's clean, it's tidy. It doesn't need anything doing to it, thankfully. Moving on to the guest room. This is our guest room. It hasn't been fully decorated yet, but it is fit for purpose. The boys like reading in this bed. Um, as you saw, there were books on the floor. So I'm just taking the bedding off to pop in the wash and the tumble dryer. And then when it's ready, I'll pop it back on later. I think I'm just gonna use this bedding um, again because I quite like it. Goes with the room. Um, so yeah, I'll put that back on when it's washed and dried. First of all, let me tidy up. As well as a tidy up, I do give it a little spray and clean because it does get dusty when we don't have people staying in there. We don't use it all that often. I don't shut the boys out or anything. They do come in and read or Leo sometimes does his hair in this mirror because it's the lowest one. <laughs> the room ready and waiting for the clean bed linen so next I moved on to the family bathroom which as you can see from the kids bath last night and getting ready this morning is just filled with bath toys and everything is everywhere it's not particularly dirty but it's a mess um, as I said I didn't do any tidying last night or this morning so I am tackling it all now and I start in the usual way by putting all the bath toys away and giving the bath a good clean
and after a coating of my pink fabulous spray shine spray the bathroom is shiny and lovely again moving on to the standalone shower which is in the same room i tackle the plugs which to be honest to stay clean would need cleaning daily because as i said before the hair doesn't drain down um, it doesn't block the drain it all stays there so you always have to clear it all out I even give these a nice shine, even though you will not see them. They'll be hidden in the drain. Um, and then I put them all back. Finally, in terms of the shower, I get up my screen wash and squeegee and get rid of all of those little grubby finger marks. This is the bathroom that the guests will be using as we will be staying in our room with an ensuite. So I'm not too fussed about cleaning our room or the ensuite as I probably won't have time after tackling the rest of the house. So I want to make sure that their bathroom is super squeaky clean. Next, I move on to the toilet and get out my lovely trusty glove and toilet sponge, which have just come out of the washing machine and give the toilet a good clean. Now, my camera died as I was cleaning the toilet, so you won't see the end of the toilet clean, but I assure you that I finished it off. That will show you how long it takes to get the house ready for guests. I mean, the camera was fully charged. This is about four and a half hours worth of cleaning. Anyways, I cleaned the sink and I replaced the bath towel and the hand towel. And that is the family bathroom ready for our guests. So I had actually recently done a major clear out of the boys toys in the playroom. So it looks kind of bare, ready for Christmas and Max's birthday. So that didn't need doing. I moved straight onto the hall, which I gave a hoover and a wipe down. <laughs> And that is upstairs complete. So the guest room's tidy, just needs the bed made. The boys room is absolutely fine, tidy, clean. I didn't need to do anything to it today. I've given the bathroom a good clean, ready for our guests who will use the shower and this bathroom and we'll just use the ensuite. The playroom was already ready, which was handy. And I'm not even gonna tackle my bedroom and the ensuite because I just didn't have time. So back downstairs, we go to fold up the mountain of clothes. I've spared you guys hours of folding clothes and I've actually folded half the pile already, but this is the other half of the pile left. <laughs> And lastly, I thought it would be quite nice to make the room super cosy and Christmassy by getting a few of our home Christmas decorations out. Now, we don't actually fully decorate for Christmas until after the 4th of December, after Max's birthday, because I don't want to take his birthday away from him. Then I'll, we'll go and get our real tree and put all our decorations up. But these are a few bits I got from B&M recently. You can see in my haul video, I will link up at the end, um, all of the Christmassy bits I got from B&M. They were so cheap, so lovely. Um, they've got such good bits out at the moment so yeah I thought I would put a few up and check that video out if you want some home decorations they've got loads in at the moment but anyways I hope you've enjoyed getting our house guest ready for this weekend um, and I will see you all in my next video